Hey, welcome back to 1776 Robust. I uh, hope everybody's having a great night. And as you can see on the table in front of you, let me just adjust this camera. It looks a little like screwed up there. But um, as you can see on the table, I have several firearms here. And what I'm going to do is kind of follow up on the video I did earlier, if you've uh, seen it, talking about some sights. So I'm going to show you some of the sights that I, I actually have and actually do like shooting with. And then I'll, sh I'll kind of work my way up from the simpler to the more complex or the ones that I like the most will be at the end. Again, you can see that I have my card here from Sean Harrison. Again, if you haven't seen that video on Courage Holsters, uh, definitely check it out. Sean's a great guy. He'll work with you and make any design you want. So definitely check out Courage Holsters. They make some great, great stuff there. Again, you can all see the fancy lamp. Uh, I had to get additional lighting down here. I wasn't very happy with the lighting that I was using during um, shooting videos. So as a result, I decided to add another lamp. Hopefully it makes the video quality a little bit better and a little bit brighter so that, you know, I don't have any issues with that. Now, the first side I'm going to show you is a pistol that I have. This is the uh, XD Mod 2. And again, all these guns have been safety checked. There's no magazines in any of them. So, uh, you know, they shouldn't go off because <laughs> I've checked them already. But uh, what you see here with the XD Mod 2, again, I love this gun. But um, this is the standard sights that it came with. You have your front fiber optic and then your rear uh, metal sights. Um, you know, there's nothing fancy, nothing complicated about these sights at all. It is your standard uh, fiber optic. Again, you can see that red dot in the front there. You can also see that I have actually blackened out the rears. I got rid of those white dots by just taking a black Sharpie and coloring them in. I felt that for me just to get a good side acquisition, especially for self-defense carry. Um, this would make a great uh, addition to it because once you pull the gun, you point the sight, you're going to have a nice shiny red uh, fiber optic glowing in your face. So you should be able to make that target uh, pretty pretty clear. So I do like it. Again, nothing fancy. If, you, if you're familiar with the fiber optics in daylight conditions, they're, they're fantastic. Obviously, as it begins to get a little bit darker and uh, nighttime, they're, they're not that great, obviously, because you can't get that target because they're not you know, tritium at all. But uh, definitely day carrying, it's a great gun. It's a great set of sights to use. Anything fiber optic in the daytime, in my opinion, is really, really good. Uh, the two other pistols that I have here, or I should say three others, I'll do the last one um, that I like the best last. But um, the next gun I'm going to show you, or next gun I'm going to show you is the 320. Again, this is my SIG 320 Compact. Uh, love the gun, great gun, um, you know, fantastic shooting, uh, great quality. Uh, in these regards, uh, when I bought this pistol, it did not have the SIG night sights. My other SIG, I do have SIG night sights on, which are your standard three dots with the white dots and the tritium inside. But uh, what I did was I upgraded the sights on this right away. That's one thing, like I said, I do right off the bat. If I'm not happy with the sights that came with the pistol, I will definitely remove them. That'll be the first thing I will modify because I always like having good sights on them. In this case, I put TFXs on these from True Glow. These are not the TFX Pro, and I'll show those to you in a moment so we can compare the two. But uh, one of the things that I think uh, really stands out with the TFX um, series is the fact that you're getting the best of both worlds. You're getting a fiber optic sight uh, plus a tritium sight, and I think that's just wonderful to, to have. You know, you can use them in the daytime. Um, the fiber optic pipes in here glow incredibly well. And then at nighttime, you begin to have the three dot night sights in there because of the tritium vials. So I think that's a great combination to have. There's not too much to complain about these sights at all. As a matter of fact, I don't really think there's anything to complain about on these sights. You know, the TFXs have a uh, plain white dot in the front. Some people say that's not that great because it don't show up that well. But honestly, I think they're really, really good in the daylight. Um, the white dot or the white circle in the front shows up very well. Never have had any issues shooting it. And like I said, I just think it's a great setup to have. Everything is very clear. You don't have, you know, you have enough uh, uh, space in between the front post and the rear notches, um, so that you know you can get a good target acquisition and, and go to go to town with whatever you need to do. But the TFXs are great sights. Again, are they the best? It's really depending on you. I like them a lot. I would recommend them because I just think they're very good sights. And like I said, you're getting the best of all worlds because you get the tritium and the fiber optic on the sight. So great sight. Now, on the PPQ, my, my favorite gun, I have what I consider really great sights as well, and these are going to be your True Glow TFX Pros. Now, in regards to the TFX Pro, you can see that uh, there's two major differences between this and the TFX. The first major difference is the notch in the back. Um, they actually didn't keep a square notch. They went with the U notch in the back, so that's a little bit different. Let me see if I can just square that off for you a little bit. I may have to check these sights. They didn't look that straight. Um, but I'll have to check them, although it could be the camera too. But um, 
you know, you look at them, you have that U notch in the rear. On top of that, you also can see that the front um, sight is has an orange ring around it. And again, I'm trying to do my best to keep this in, in the camera, but you can kind of see that orange ring in the back. And, um, you know, it does show up well. However, I would say that it's just not a bright enough orange. I think True Glow can do a better job putting something a little bit brighter in there. Um, it's not terrible by any means, and is it an improvement on the TFX? Honestly, uh, that would be for you to decide. I don't know if it is that much of a significant improvement, and just to kind of put them side by side. You know, in my opinion, it just seems like the white stands out a little bit better, but it could be because of the lighting as well. But for whatever reason, to me, the white just seems like it stands out more. I think it might just be that the ring might have a brighter uh, white color to it as opposed to the orange. Um, so that could be the issue. I'm not exactly certain. But again, you can see this one has a squared out notch in the back. This one has a rounded notch. Um, in a close-up shot, you can see that difference right there. You know, and just looking at the, the comparison with my hand, using my hand, uh, to me, the white just shows up a hell of a lot better than that orange does. You know, I think they really, like I said, I think they could have used a better uh, orange whatever paint, if that's what it is, or if it's just a ring that they installed. Um, this one is more like a pumpkin orange, so it doesn't really stand out that well. Um, is it worth the extra money from a TFX? Um, I don't think so. I think you can definitely enjoy the TFX as well. One of the other major differences is uh, you can see that the shelf on both pistols, for example, on the PPQ, you can see that it's a little bit notched higher, so there's like more of a shelf here. So if you wanted to do one hand manipulations of the slide, you could do that on your belt with no issues, just because it has a higher shelf. Now the 320 has a longer rear sight, but the shelf isn't as pronounced. Now is it going to be a, you know, a game changer that this is so much higher than this one? I don't think so, and if you look at them closely, it doesn't even seem like there's that much of a comparison. Um, however, I would say that there is. This one is a little bit squared and this one's more rounded. However, I will tell you that you can still do one-handed manipulations with the TFX sights as well as the TFX Pro. So to me, I don't know if, if one is better than the other. Um, other than that, they're equal in all regards. They both use the same tritium, the same fiber optics. The only difference is, is that uh, the notches are a little bit different in the rear. You have the orange circle as opposed to the white circle. And of course, the shelf for the TFX Pros and more of that rounded edge on the shelf for the TFX. Now, the final site I'm going to show you is one on, is probably one of my favorite sites that I have purchased. And these are from Ameriglow. These are actually the Ameriglow um, Hackathons. And I, I absolutely love this site. Now, just kind of in regards to the site itself, the lighting doesn't do this front uh, post justice. Uh, why is that? Because this thing is just like crazy bright. And if you're familiar with the oranges on like, let's say, Trichicon HDs or any of the Ameriglow series, you'll realize that this is a very high vis orange. So as soon as you pull your gun, you can see it a mile away. And then on top of that, because the rear sights are, are blackened, and there's no dots in the back, as soon as you pull this gun up, you can definitely hit the target. You can see the target right away. Great acquisition of that target just because of that bright orange dot right in the front. Again, you have your tritium vial in the front from Trigicon. Um, you know, again, great stuff. Love them. Uh, have had no issues with these whatsoever. Um, and I would totally recommend them. Uh, this is right now my favorite of all of my sites. Uh, again, I'm, I'm kind of uh, throwing out the idea of maybe getting another set of Ameriglows this time, maybe Spalding sights um, or a set of T-caps or cap sights with the little square knot instead of the circle. But uh, I haven't decided yet. But uh, I would say overall, this one to me shows up the best. Um, you know, you can even see on the slide, it's so bright that you can see the reflection of the, the actual dot on the slide, which is kind of cool. And then again, with that orange notch, and let me see if I can get a dark background so you can see a little bit better. You know, hold that up there. Um, you know, if you look at the dark background, I mean, it just holds it really well. Uh, it doesn't matter what color. It's good contrast, whether it's dark or light backgrounds. And it just, it holds up very well. Uh, I have had no issues with this. Really love shooting with these sights um, because, again, they're very easy to acquire the target just because of the dark back and the very bright front. So these are just some of the uh, sights that I have. Uh, again, you know, tell me what you think. Which ones you like the best? Uh, what color you like the best for me I'd have to go with the oranges or reds just because they seem to be showing up better for me And I do like them a little bit better when it starts to get a little darker out But uh, again check out the sites tell me what you think and as always I hope you guys are having a great night And if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and always give us a thumbs up I do appreciate getting thumbs up from everybody because that you know again 
does count for something, I guess, in the YouTube world. I don't really know what it is, but I think it does. So again, I, go, I hope you guys are having a great night and freedom is never free.